Hey y'all, it's Stephanie with Sweet Tea and Sunshine. I'm back today with a really quick book haul. I went to a couple thrift stores this weekend with my mom. It's not something I get to do very much, but we did it today or over the weekend and I thought I would just post what I found because I found some really great deals. I have one, two, five, six, seven, eight books and I paid three about four dollars for all of them so I think that's a great deal especially considering what I got so we have been reading a lot of the classics I never really read these as a kid I don't think but I watch Jay Morrell Stewart or the Ho encouraging homeschool mom I think I think is her name now I watch her on YouTube and she mentioned reading these so we've started and this actually this first book we had checked out from the library and we've got just a couple more chapters left to go but now we have it for ourselves so we got Oliver Twist and it's great all these books are in great condition these pages are a little older worn you know but still really good condition so we have that one and it says it was ten dollars regular so this one book was more then it, it was double what we paid for, what I paid for the whole amount. <clears throat> then we have Captain's Courageous. We have not read this one yet, so I'm pretty excited about it. And I haven't read this one either, but I figured it would be really good for lessons. It's Christopher Columbus. Um, it's a discard. I don't know why they would want to discard it. But anyways, then I remember reading these books when I was a kid back in the early 90s. And it's by Beverly Cleary and it's Runaway Ralph. Just a paperback, but still good condition. Oh, and I loved these books. The Boxcar Children. Who remembers the Boxcar Children? Did you guys read those? Um, this one is The Yellow House Mystery. Gertrude, oh, by Gertrude Chandler Warner. So that was one. And then we have, I love these too. I remember my library, which my school principal now is a librarian over, which I think is really cool. They had this whole section of, this is the Bobsy Twins book. And I have the whole section of the Bobsy Twins and, and Nancy Drew and the Hardy Brothers. And I can just remember going in there and sitting down and being like, wow, this is so cool. And I would just sit in the floor and take like 30 minutes to go through and pick out which books to read. But this one is the Bob Bobsy Twins of Lakeport. And I don't know. It just says of Lakeport. I don't know which one's. I thought they had a series, but I don't know. They do have a series. I guess this is the first in the series. Cool. Okay. Well, that's neat. Then we love Little House on the Prairie. So I got this one. This one's definitely an older version. This is just the Little House on the Prairie one. Well, I don't know what year this one was printed in, but it was back when these books were $1.95, and now they're like $10 a piece, so that is really cool. I think this is pretty old. I don't know when it was printed in. But we did not have... I <laughs> It says printed in 1953, but I don't think. Oh, 1971. Huh. If that's true, that's that's pretty awesome. We didn't have this one, so I picked it up. And then this one, I wasn't a big fan of. But I know Sarah would really love it. And it's Ready Freddy Homework Castle. I... I don't really care for books like this. 
but she loves them and sometimes you just have to give in a little bit on things like that just because I like one thing doesn't mean that she always will so got that one that was our book haul I think we found those between two no one store we found those all at one store so I'll be definitely going back over there to check it out sometime but that was it I hope you enjoyed if you guys do family read alouds or anything like that let me know down below what you like to read I always love to take inspiration from other people or maybe if you were a kid what when, when you were a kid what you like to read I hope you'll have a good day and I'll talk to you later bye